The handlebar mounted mirror is a bike accessory that is almost as divisive as the kickstand. Many cyclists swear by them and wouldn't ride without one, but most haven't even used one. So after extensive touring without a mirror, I finally decided to pick one up. So today I'm going to review that mirror and share my thoughts. Good afternoon and welcome to the review. So before we get into the benefits of using a mirror and the mirror that I favor, I'd be stoked if you would consider subscribing to the channel. I create videos centered on bikepacking and bike touring, which includes gear reviews, tips, tricks, and tutorials, and even the occasional trip report. And in one month's time, I'll be leaving on an around the world bike trip of a lifetime, which I'll document right here. So if that's the kind of thing you're into, hit that button. So why would you want a mirror on your bike? Well, for the same reason you have mirrors on your car, so you can see behind you. And why would you need to see behind you when you're riding a bicycle? Well, for starters, the most obvious reason is safety. And this could range from the just in case mentality, you know, just in case there's a vehicle about to hit you from behind, to maybe the more likely scenario that a car is just overtaking you a bit too close. In both these situations, a mirror could give you ample warning to prepare yourself. If you're traveling with a partner, a mirror can help you keep an eye on them, which is useful for a variety of reasons, including safety. A mirror also makes it much easier to check behind you before turning or switching lanes or any other sort of maneuver. So a mirror also brings convenience. You don't have to crane your neck around to check behind you. Just a quick glance in the mirror, it's much easier. So without going on about it, a mirror is obviously extremely useful while touring. And when I look back on certain things that happened on tour, a mirror would have been pretty nice to have. So the mirror that I decided to check out was the Miracle Mirror. Miracle, mirror, miracle, mirror and cycle? Yeah, anyway, let's check it out. The Miracle Mirror comes in this simple cardboard box and as you can see, it's made in Colorado and is listed as being suitable for all types of bikes other than mountain bikes. I'd imagine this is probably for safety reasons as no one wants their mirror to get snagged on a branch or to become shrapnel in the event of a crash. Now opening up the box, the mirror can be found nicely gift wrapped in the instructions. There's a fair bit going on here, but the instructions are very easy to follow and it should only take a couple of minutes to get this thing assembled. Just make sure that you don't drop any of the tiny washers that are included. Now, I'm not gonna describe the full assembly here, but rest assured, it's very simple, and once you're done, you should have something that looks like this. And once you have it assembled, the mirror attaches to the end of your bars via a simple quill mechanism. So I've been using the Miracle Mirror for about a month now. I've used it for commuting, grocery getting, and pretty much any riding I've had to do around town where I'd be encountering traffic. So first I'll share my thoughts on this specific mirror, and then maybe some thoughts on cycling with a mirror in general. My first observation is that the Miracle Mirror has excellent build quality and design. It's made from a very sturdy plastic and all the hardware is high quality. And in addition to this, I think the design of the mirror actually helps protect it from damage. I've knocked it a few times, but because it's able to rotate on a couple of different axes, it'll move before it breaks. The quill mechanism is super easy to use and it includes two separate parts for different diameters of handlebar. Although I've been able to use a smaller one on multiple bar diameters without any issue. And speaking of which, the mirror is compatible with both flat bars and drop bars. The mirror itself is really clear and gives a great image. I've used mirrors in the past that weren't as good quality as this and it made it really difficult to see what was going on in them. This one is clear as day and provides a beautiful image of what's going on behind you. And I think the size is just right. So overall, my experience using it has been perfect. I think that the only minor drawback is that it does stick out quite a way when you're using it with flat bars. This is a little bit of an issue for me because I use really wide bars that are already a bit of a hindrance when you're trying to get through doorways and stuff like that without increasing their width with a mirror. But with that being said, it's easy enough to rotate it out the way if you need to. 
All right, so for those who are interested, here's a really brief summary of my experience riding with a mirror, having never ridden with one before. I've really enjoyed having a mirror on the bike. Enjoy? Is that the right word? Whatever, it's been really useful. Now, I don't think it's always appropriate. I definitely wouldn't take it mountain biking, and I probably wouldn't take it on a gravel ride either, as I usually do my gravel rides pretty far from traffic anyway. But for commuting and touring, it's just perfect. It's so nice being able to just quickly glance in the mirror before I pull out, rather than having to look over my shoulder. And although I probably shouldn't, I do often ride listening to music or podcasts with earbuds in, and it's really nice being able to see the cars approaching from behind when I can't hear them. And lastly, I think there's a lot to be said for the peace of mind that it offers. You just feel a lot safer with the added situational awareness that it gives you. And although I haven't toured with it yet, I think I made a great decision adding it to the bike. So that's it guys. I've really enjoyed the experience of using a mirror on my bike and would highly recommend the Miracle Mirror if you're thinking about picking one up yourself. Speaking of which, if you're considering buying the Miracle Mirror or any of the other gear that I use, consider doing it via the affiliate links in the description below. It won't cost you anything extra, but I get a small commission from the sale and it helps a lot. As always, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more. Cheers.